Hello and welcome to this Test Kit Plus video. Today I'll demonstrate testing two samples. One was reported as being LSD, otherwise known as LSD25, ACID, and other street names. The other, 1P LSD, which is an LSD analog thought to be converted to LSD within the body. I'll use two tests from Test Kit Plus, one called Ehrlich, the other Hoffman. A color reaction chart is included with each test. We'll see if the test results are consistent with what we'd expect with LSD and 1P LSD. Starting with Ehrlich, the first one here is a small piece of regular paper. We'll use it as a control. The second one is blotter paper, purportedly containing LSD, and the third one, 1P LSD. As we can see, nothing much is happening here right away, but that's actually normal for blotter LSD. I'll go ahead and repeat the procedure with Hoffman. Again, just like before, I'll put a drop on the control and the other two samples. Similarly, not much should happen immediately, but again, that's normal. It's what we'd expect. It can take quite a while for colors to appear. I'll fast forward a bit, and at five minutes in, we're starting to see some purple with Ehrlich in the top middle sample, and not much with the other samples. I'll speed up again. At 10 minutes, there's a definite purple color with Ehrlich and the top middle sample, and it looks like there might be a bit of blue with Hoffman in the bottom middle sample. Nothing really with the purported 1P LSD samples. I'll move up to 45 minutes, and we can see a more prominent purple color with Ehrlich in the top middle sample, and blue with Hoffman in the bottom middle sample. This is what we'd expect with LSD. We're starting to see some purple has also appeared at the top right with Ehrlich, maybe a little something, but not a big change with Hoffman in the bottom right. I'll jump ahead again, and two hours in, all colors have become more evident, and we can see some blue with the bottom right sample. I'll jump ahead one last time, and at four hours, 20 minutes, we can see purple for Ehrlich and blue with Hoffman. The colors are more prominent with the middle samples than with the samples on the right side, which is consistent with what we'd expect with LSD and 1P LSD. These samples are small pieces of blotter paper cut off from larger tabs. LSD can also commonly be found in liquids and gels. The testing procedure is the same. Things like brownies and sugar cubes can't be tested with this method because there's too much other material. I've included links in the description for where you can get test kits for a wide variety of substances. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you and happy testing.